Hello and welcome to Dream Team Coach TV brought to you by Betway. I'm Sean Burke, joining me is Andy Taylor, Jack Townsend and Nick Elliott. Coming up on this week's show. Charlie Big Potatoes, who I've heard a few times. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Big Potatoes? Yeah, there's a few Charlie Big Potatoes in there. <laughs> That's a one. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. oh. oh Sean, your wow. torch. Arsenal are fourth. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that. Hey, it's no, nice no, no matter what here. metric you use, you're interrupting my graph there. Yeah. <laughs> and my graph. And my graph. Oh god! Oh, not even good. Ankle scrapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I've done. I genuinely have done my ankle. <laughs> We've got the clash of Jose and Pep as Man City head to Spurs. These two have had a long publicised rivalry, with Pep once saying he'd rather learn from what Jose does on the pitch than off of it. I expect him to slide tackle Oli Murs any day now. When it comes to Mourinho, is he just all talk these days? I must admit, I'm really enjoying his Instagram account. I don't know if you guys follow I saw him. the one this week where he was a like passive aggressive uh, it's, it's, text. Um, it's like peak Mourinho, but in meme form. He's like <laughs> memed himself. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I just saw the one of him in the gym and he was talking about, uh, well, he was, he was talking about international duty, basically. Yeah. He was saying, oh, isn't it great? Send everybody around the world. Randomers coming on the pitch. This is great. <laughs> Basically, that was the gist of it. It was when they lost last. I can't remember who where it was, but it was just him on the bus, wasn't it? Just looking sad. But yeah, mask on. You have to think that like they've he's had to get one of his assistants. Oh, you're gonna have to get a photo of me in the bus looking sad. <laughs> <laughs> so I can go up on Instagram saying we lost. <laughs> like, it's almost such a weird experience for them. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. I don't think there's been a post where he's happy yet. I would say in the graph of Mourinho appreciation, I was high. This is like Chelsea, this is like Porto and yeah. early Chelsea, high. Did you have appreciation at Porto? Well, when he won the Champions League with them. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, this is. I thought you were like, as if you were like following his. Like, oh, no, no, no. But I mean, <laughs> in the Champions League, when he's sliding, on his, when he's running down the touchline of Old yeah. Trafford, it's like, yeah, this guy. Yeah. I like yeah. what he's about. <laughs> Winning the Champions League at Porto, Chelsea, yeah, teaming all of his special one stick, high. Mm -hmm. Then it starts to s gradually go down as he gets a bit sort of cantankerous and grouchy. Treble with Inter, back up a little bit, yeah. rated that. Inter's almost probably mm, one of his best achievements, isn't it? In terms of an like, ageing squad and what he did. You're interrupting my graph there. <laughs> and my graph, and my graph. I'm just, no, but I was thinking like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't believe Inter didn't get back up there for you. Well, this, this, is, this isn't like his career achievements. It's just my, how much I appreciate Jose, okay. the human. Because then we've got like second spelled Real Madrid and second spelled Chelsea, where he's just moaning too much. He's lost his charisma a bit. Especially Man United, that's probably the probably the pit, yeah, where it's yeah. just like doing weird stuff of like Would you say it's mo moaning, moaning and it. But now I'm actually yeah. thinking you for, you he's turned the corner. I forgot soccer age. Soccer age, <laughs> little, little yeah. blip back up. Yeah, that was that was. Now good. I actually think for me he's on the trajectory back up. Oh, I like what you're, like maybe the Instagram thing because it is kind of a bit tongue in cheek. Yeah, like he's kind of. I don't know. It came across the, the, in um, the, the All or Nothing as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously that was like deliberately designed yeah. to be the Mourinho show, but yeah. it did kind of work. I thought, yeah, yeah fair play. Yeah. But you, you say Mourinho all mouth, but that at the moment, but that implies that there's no action. But Spurs are doing pretty well. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah. I thought it was a bit bang out of order to intro. <laughs> <laughs> because you've had about, you've probably had about four years to intro a show of any variety with that statement but i think right now it's, <laughs> i don't think that's the fair. Arsenal, spot the arsenal fan the one <laughs> week the one the one you were holding it back to back pocket and I was like, i've left it too late <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's all talk isn't he? quickly <laughs> okay we'll put a pin in this preview chat for now as it's time for the four to score challenge our sponsor betway has this week set us the challenge of replicating phil foden's instagram skills with a game of keepy uppies with the wall. So we each get four attempts to get as many keepy uppies with the wall, and whoever gets the most wins. Let's get to it. All right, I guess I'll go first. Here we go. Um, check this out. <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, I'm just gonna use my first three to warm up. One. Yeah, two. All right. Okay, two. That's two, nice. okay. One. Four. Oh. Okay. One. Thanks, oh. oh! So it's two, it's two. 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 A solid two, right? <laughs> it's more than one. Oh, I've got the shoes for it. I don't know if you can see that. I just, just want 
test the weight a bit. Yeah, apparently Ronaldo wears them in training. Yeah, I think so. That's why he's so good off the pitch. It's yeah, like he's yeah. gliding. CR7 yeah. brogues. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh Sean, your wow. torch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is wow. this, this, does this Just, count? Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> that, yeah that wall <laughs> really freaked me off. <laughs> to get under control, that's the hard part. Yeah. God. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Was that three? No, that's two. It's like a giraffe that's playing two. football. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they, they are honestly some of the worst first touches I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Like wait, it looks wait, so you uncomfortable. See this. Yeah, well, I mean, I'll tell you what, you, you have, give these a go. I just want to see, I need to see the, the kind of, how much give has the wall got? You know what I mean? Oh, that's a one yeah, go. Yeah, I see what you're no, saying. Yeah. That's, that's one go. go. <laughs> None of us got that. This is it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is it. This is it. <laughs> yeah, that, these that, searches are it. horrendous. Oh, <laughs> not even registered Maybe the phone ball is difficult to control. Oh, yeah, I mean, it it does look horrendously hard to control. <laughs> oh, so, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the first touch look so bad. Right. So is that a two? That's, that's, uh, that's a two. Yeah. Oh. All right. I mean, is that's, that's your four goals. He is ahead in key centre half though, right? to be fair, on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you right, said two. Nick's done it, you're like, oh, it's it's I don't know, I'm now, because no. I thought Nick has got a little first touch on him, but he's got nothing there. I haven't got, I haven't got a first touch on me. Uh, so how, can you like drop it and kick it to start? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, take it. <laughs> no, <laughs> not even one yet. You your knee through the board as well. It's not great, is it? Oh god! Oh, it's not even good. Ankles. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I've done. My, I genuinely have done my ankle. <laughs> it's the it's the constant games that we're having to play, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Have we got a physio? Or <laughs> you can't be expected to. Of course, it's this little electronic thing, isn't it? <laughs> You can't be expected to to play all these games back to back. No, I oh, know it's tough. At least, at least push it down a bit. Yeah, yeah. Come on, give yourself. Yeah. <laughs> right. Come on. Oh, oh my! You're going so low. All that smack why, talk. Why are you starting by just drilling him right at the bottom? Right, <laughs> like, one more. Aim it up. There you go. Oh, oh, even, oh. That, what, have you even registered I haven't even registered one. Right, that is me, Jack and Nick tied on a whopping two points each. But you'll have to stick around to the end of the show to find out who wins the sudden death. Spoiler, it's, it's not Andy. I was looking at the kind of uh, Jose v Pep stats as well. So Jose's uh, played Pep the most of any manager in his career. Was it 23 uh, times? Yeah, so, yeah, and Pep's got the advantage. I mean. Looking at the squads that Pep was working with at Barcelona, you kind of see why. Mm -hmm. Even City, when you look at City v United. Mm. Um, but most importantly, the one game they played each other when Jose's a Spurs manager, he's won it. Yeah, and Kane wasn't playing. Which oh, is, really? Yeah, which is quite... Yeah. You think if you've got an informed Kane with Son, it's going to be promising, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But the, the most famous game, Mourinho, uh, Pep, which I believe is one of the most important games, the last few years is they actually Mourinho lost but it was 1-0 at uh it's Inter Milan so it's the semi-final of the Champions League and it's the game where Busquets did the little peek do you remember that oh really when no. he dived and then oh. he was on the floor and he like oh. peeked out between I've his, seen that <laughs> yeah and um so they were down to 10 men into Earth for like 70 minutes whatever mm -hmm. but they do it's just a proper d defensive masterclass, like in the real sense not like the new Mourinho sense where they still concede like 20 shots it was like yeah. genuinely Incredible. I don't know if you've seen Mourinho talking about how he put Messi in a prison with like four players always around him, stuff like that. Because if it wasn't for that game, Barcelona probably were on th would have won three Champions Leagues in a row, right? Because that's the because they won 2009 and 2011. And that's the only thing that stopped them doing it. If that had happened, everyone would have just been all in on Pep. He won three Champions League in a row. Everyone followed his philosophy, but because Mourinho disrupted it and did that and showed that like Inter won the treble doing it his way. You kind of had this split between like f a battle for football's soul, right? Between like the Johan Cruyff Pep style and Mourinho going, you know, you can actually, there's a different way of doing it. You can be disciplined, you can have hard workers. Yeah. So the, the, the most important game in their rivalry, Mourinho lost the battle 
who won the war. Oh. Yeah, that's do you think there's an element of, um, in terms of you looking at his, Jose's career, do you think there's an element of the, the Lewis Hamilton theory of that everyone loves him, but a lot of people question him because he's driving the best car? And I'm just looking at the teams that Jose's done really well with, and he's always had very, very good squads. The one time he was poor, United, it was his worst squad that he's probably had in his career. It's probably it was worse than the Porto side. I know it was kind of less. Yeah, but winning winning the Champions League with Porto. Yeah. I know it was a good Porto side, but it's not like it's still probably a better squad than this United squad. I know it's a great achievement, but like that United squad needed unbelievable man management because the bodies weren't quite right. There was a lot of kind of clearly big time Charlies in there. Charlie Big Potatoes, who I've heard a few times. Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Big Potatoes. Yeah, there's a few Charlie Big Potatoes. <laughs> in there. That's a good one. Um, and yeah, so and it's almost like he he didn't fail the test because he still won silverware there. But it was interesting that that's probably the worst squad he's had to deal with, and he's done the worst. And now he's come to Spurs, one of the best strikers in the world up top. That's a nice basis to go from. He's probably got one of the best kind of inside forwards in Son in the world. Do you not think it's more to do with the, the squad unity? Like, I feel like United's like, squad has been so disjointed for ever since. They, they've been manager, manager, manager. There's always been a few big names in there that haven't worked. Whereas Spurs, through, through the Poch era, did have a lot of good kind of squad unity. And do you think maybe that's a lot easier to manage? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm not saying United's an easy job, but yeah. it's just if we're to I'm not criticising Jose, but if he is as good as we know he is, then he probably should have got more out of that United side because, if, in theory, we're looking at the people like Pep, Klopp, and Jose. You could throw them a League Two side, and they would somehow get that team right up through the levels. Mm-hmm. Is the theory behind it? If they are the best managers in the world, they should be able to do it in any circumstances. But it seems like all the best managers still need to make £500 million worth of signings to get to that level. This weekend then, what do you think? I mean, it's kind of hard to call these days, really. I, fa- I fancy Spurs. Yeah? Yeah. Think... I don't know, I quite like to see Spurs mm. beat City. In the form they're in at home, you can see it. Is that not just the easy option to say that because of what we've seen from Spurs recently? Just think about the bigger picture. This City team is still really good. Oh, I, yeah, almost, I almost think this City team is going under the radar. I feel like in terms of news, they really do like fall to the bottom of the, what we're talking about at the, the moment. Their defence like, is pretty solid now. And they're, they're you know, they've still has. got the best player in the league in Kevin De Bruyne. Defensively looking really tidy now. I mean, Diaz, I don't know if you saw, got a brace for Portugal uh, on Tuesday. Yeah. I'm not saying that's like the defining factor, mm. but he's, I think they've, I mean, we'll save this for the cheat sheet, but I think he... Um, They've only conceded, I think, four goals in seven games, or it might be five goals in seven games, since Diaz has come in. Right. Um, which, you know, for all of City's positives, they've actually been pretty poor generally defensively, haven't they? Well, we've made our predictions for this weekend, but if you are planning to as well, it's worth noting that this week is Safer Gambling Week, running from the 19th to the 25th of November. Safer Gambling Week is a betting industry initiative to promote safer gambling in the UK and Ireland. Betway want you to bet the responsible way and are fully committed to Safer Gambling. To find out more, head on over to safergamblinguk.org or head to the Responsible Gambling section on the Betway app or website. All right, it's time for the memes. Each week, our panelists submit a meme to the Dream Team Instagram page and you folks get to vote for your favorite. So if you're not already following us on Instagram, get it sorted. Right, first up. Yeah, it's just a dig at not using a Bermian in his right position. That's what it is. I yeah. liked it. Yeah. 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 There's not simple. many memes that you create that I don't like. Thank to you. be quite honest, I do like. Yeah. They just don't. They're, they're not going to get shared a lot. They're just solid. But they're really they? good. Niche. They're Niche just memes. like they're just solid. They're like a James Milner. Like good, good. Mm. Never gonna, never gonna win any <laughs> individual awards. Yeah. You know I mean? Never gonna win the Ballon d'Or, but you'd have him in your squad. Right, Jack's next, and I don't move. Him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, went, I went video, but I've not gone for the obvious subjects. So uh, just went, yeah, you know, Jude, Jude Bellingham being thrown into the squad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just kind of. That's nice that. as well because obviously he's young. Yeah. And the baby, that was a baby. Yeah, that's it's nice. quite. That's nice. Yeah. It's nice to it there, yeah. yeah. Uh, right, the final name was Andy's. 
It's a great Bailey. source video. I think, have we used it on Zoom team before? I don't know. I don't know. I've I don't, seen I don't it even before. mind if we have because I don't. I still understand why that woman goes back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like She's why? Totally I would love to hear the story. Like <laughs> why? How has she ended up back in? <laughs> so that bloke. That bloke's. At, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, that bloke's absolutely done everyone over though. <laughs> right, I've got the results here. In last place with 237 votes. That's not a lot of votes, is it? It's not a lot. Is Nick. What? That's a disgrace! <laughs> Do you know what? When, 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 when you said that straight away, I thought, oh, unlucky Jack. <laughs> <laughs> so is he right? In second place with 446 votes is Jack. We. Congrats. We. <laughs> Gracious as ever. And in first place with <laughs> 1,749 votes <laughs> is Andy Taylor. You, 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 route, route you, one. you don't get credit for that. The credit for that goes for that woman whose balance is so ridiculously yeah, bad yeah. she ended up back in the water. That source video really made that. Word has come through that Joe Gomez is the latest Liverpool defender on the injury list, making it only the second longest list in football after Roy Keane's list of enemies. On the topic of fixture congestion, Klopp recently said, we cannot carry on like this. Does money take precedence over football welfare these days? I would say definitely in the sense that like, there was no, like England had their friendly scheduled against New Zealand, right? And New then Zealand. they got cancelled because they thought that's mental. Yeah. Then rather than just scrapping it, they've gotten, they're so the need to play, fulfill the international calendar, they get all these monetary commitments. It's like, oh, Let's just see if Ireland will play us. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no need to play that game. We played three international games yeah. in that break. So we had a, a use, for England's point of view, a useless friendly against Ireland, didn't really need. Lost to Belgium, are out, and then a dead rubber against Iceland. Mm. It's just like in this season where it's all cramped and everyone's getting all these injuries, like Chilwell's body after like 38 minutes of Belgium just went, nah. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it seems needless. This year of all years, you think, I mean, if they've already postponed the Euros, you know, do you think they could do without well, friendly matches? Is as anyone well? going to make it to the Euros? Are any players physically going to make yeah. it? You you know, if you're playing in the league and then say you go late in the Champions League, obviously whoever does will be a good team and they'll have international players. They'll be playing in the Euros as well. And then there's a chance that you go straight into next season and then in October of next year, you've got to play whoever it is, say Belgium. We've got to play in the Nations League finals little tournament <laughs> like yeah. the moment the new one starts like, oh remember that thing you qualified for yeah. last year yeah like it's just be able to be playing straight for about three and a half years yeah. by the time you get down and to then it. the world cup's God. coming creeping up as well winter world cup at some point it's just i do feel for some players as well who play in england but play like home international fixtures are really far away like did you see Abamyang um oh, with yeah. the gabonese yeah. squad stuck in an airport i rated the holly a.m they kept him at they yeah. They kept them in the airport, didn't they? Yeah, they, they're literally so like bedding down on the floor. So yeah. like three hours before kickoff or yeah. something yeah. stupid. Can you imagine arriving to that match that, later that day? They must have felt like, oh, I could just do without this. I do re highly rate that. Was it Gambia? Were they were playing? Yeah. I, I highly rate that from them. Just go, you know what? I'm going to keep them in this airport. <laughs> you know, keep them up all night because we're playing a big game against our lads tomorrow. Like, that's, we need a bit more of that petty sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've all been there, haven't we, in an airport and we've, we've had to get a cheap flight so we've had to sleep on a floor or something oh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I just imagine him, a Bamyang having to do that <laughs> You know, when he's used to his gold Lamborghini. Yeah. Back yeah. Airports yeah. bring everybody back down to earth, no matter yeah. who you are. Yeah, if yeah. your flight is delayed or cancelled, there's nothing you can do. Exactly. Well, I don't know, the, the VIP lounge makes it a little bit easier. But they, they oh, weren't, yeah. they, they were just They looked like they were just in yeah you in a berry i just looking at the coke machine <laughs> yeah. am i gonna get another chocolate bar <laughs> yeah go on then liberal got leicester this weekend uh league leaders um and they've been ravaged by injuries they're still waiting to hear about henderson what, as well yeah there's eight there's eight senior mm. injuries at the minute uh mainly the back line mm. well mainly defensive players actually so jet what jamie vardy's gonna be Oh, probably well licking his lips. I know, but like, that. unless they are still going in with probably Fabinho and Matip. Matip, Matip hasn't strung four games together without getting injured in the last two years either, though. So yeah. he, was, he, he won't still wouldn't say he's our first choice back line. No, but you know they're still both international footballers. Do you know what yeah. I mean? They're not like they're not bad, are they? Mm. Like, not Fabinho bad. is actually one of the best what, midfielders their, in the what's world. Their, what's their back four going to be there? Because Trent's injured as well, right? So you Trent got, like, Gomez. Van Dijk are all injured. So it'll Van be Dijk. Robertson, Matip, Is it the lad, the lad Neko Williams? Neko right Williams, back. yeah. I think yeah. Robertson is fit. Oh, yeah, because he was also hard. Yeah, but he didn't Robertson play in the week, did he? You've got Allison in sticks. You're going to have. I think Henderson. It's Mil will be Milner's uh, 
Trent well predicted us. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, Milner, Milner can right anyway, back, can yeah. he? You know, mm. it's not yeah. Milner coming in at right back. You know, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. <laughs> and also, and also Leicester. Let's not forget Leicester. They've got some big issues themselves. I mean, they've got Castagna, uh, Pereira, and mm. Didi. Soyuncu has probably been the best centre half in the league for the past year, barring Van Dijk. Mm. So, like, I, I genuinely think Leicester probably pound for pound are actually probably more affected than what Liverpool are. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm, I mean, you're still going in with Mane and Firmino and Jota as a front three. I mean, I wouldn't want to come up well, against that. Yeah, for the I do agree that Vardy will be licking his lips. Yeah. Because I think if we're going down the a history of fixtures route, then I think Vardy's got seven and eleven. He scored that. Do you remember the one he scored during the title-winning year? Was it the over volley. the shoulder? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was, that was yeah. ridiculous. That's, that's one of the great Premier League goals. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Seeing as injuries are absolutely rife in the Premier League these days, I've taken the liberty of preparing an injury league table to see who's come out on top. Partly out of curiosity, but also it's just nice to take the pressure off Arsenal being in the top six for a change. So any guesses to who's in the Champions League spots in the, in the Most Premier League? Injuries. Well, I mean, number one. Well, Liverpool. Uh, yeah, with, with nine injuries, according to what I found yesterday on the injury database. Unless it's updated I'll today. Get Andy to question that. <laughs> Your sources, yeah. Uh, well, I'd probably right. put Leicester in the top four as well. Isn't it? Well, there are, no, there are only seven places in this league because uh, a lot of people have the same amount of injuries. Okay. But Leicester are, yes, they are third. They've got seven injuries. So it's just the battle of the depleted squads, isn't it? It really is. Arsenal? Uh, Arsenal are fourth. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that. Hey, it's no, nice no, no matter what here. metric you use. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I reckon Palace are up there. Palace are second uh, with Man United. Eight injuries. Man United? And you guess who's, uh, who's rock bottom on their own, though? What, the fewest. Chelsea? Yes. Yeah, good Someone's call. been writing cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> but it, no, it makes sense though, because they, they, they went into the there. season with quite a few and actually they're, they're doing really well now. All right, let's hold it there for a second because we cannot finish the show without finding out who won this week's fourth the score challenge. All right, it's time for sudden death. Uh, we've all drawn on two. <laughs> Instant death. So uh, <laughs> let's see how it goes. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh. Hey, that was nice. Another, another two, I guess. That's two. Yeah. Oh, I can do better, I can do better. It's good, isn't it? Get it, get it, Jack! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> so is that two? <laughs> what a, what yeah, it was two touches. What, what, uh, what, a, what a finish, though, over his shoulder. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was like Vardy, goal, wasn't it, against the, Liverpool? Goal of the season. <laughs> Oh, Nick, I like it. Go on. Oh! No. Yeah. oh. You're, not getting, you're not getting better than that. Okay. <laughs> I love how free is what we're applauding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations, Nick, who won with an astounding total of three. Um, hey, it's harder than it looks. Uh, well done, Phil Foden. Uh, you're the real hero here. Congrats, Nick. Congrats. And uh, haha, Andy. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see Give, that. Giving us chip <laughs> the, the sideline. Well, that's all from us this week, folks. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Dream Team Coach TV. Club football is back, so what better time to update your dream teams? Best of luck with it, and we'll see you again next week.